Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you my favorite top eight tips and tricks for the Zoom mobile app. All right, let's jump on the phone and let's check these out. Tip number one, and this one's a little bit narcissistic, but hey, we all like to look our best in meetings. You can touch up your appearance. Here in the Zoom mobile app, in the bottom right-hand corner, click on the settings gear. Within settings, click into meetings, and within meetings, there's an option to touch up my appearance. Click on this. This opens up touch up my appearance, and as you could probably clearly tell, I haven't yet turned it on. Down below, there's a toggle, and when I click on that, now it's touching up my appearance. I'm already looking a little bit better. Right over here, there's also a slider, so let's test this out. Here, I'm gonna slide it over to the side. Here, I've just gone back in time 10 years, and if I push all the way over to the right, I've now gone back in time 20 years. A funny story about my appearance. I hate when I go to work and one of my coworkers says, it looks like you didn't get a lot of sleep last night, and then I know full well that I got a good nine hours of sleep. Of course, I don't say that. You can also access this from within a meeting. When you're in a meeting, in the bottom right-hand corner, click on more. Within more, right in the middle, you have meeting settings. When you click on that, right here, you can touch up your appearance and you can toggle that on or off. On this view though, you don't have access to the slider, so you have to do that on the main settings screen. Tip number two, you can auto connect audio. Whenever you join a Zoom meeting, you always see this prompt that asks you to join the audio. Here I could select to join with Wi-Fi or cellular data, or I could choose no audio. Now, I don't know why I'd wanna join a meeting without audio, so of course I'm gonna select this Wi-Fi or cellular data. But let's see how we could just have it automatically select that anytime you join a meeting. On the main screen, go to the bottom right-hand corner and click on the settings gear. Here again, let's click into meetings and settings, and at the very top, there's the option to auto-connect audio, and currently it's turned off. I'll click on this, and here I can change it so it just defaults to Wi-Fi or cellular data. Then I'll click on done. Here now, when I create a new meeting or join a meeting, it'll drop me directly into the meeting and my audio will be automatically configured. Look at that, I no longer have to click on this prompt. Tip number three, and this is a crowd pleaser. You can set custom virtual backgrounds in back of you. My manager at the Kevin Cookie Company, Patty, she keeps wondering why I spend so much time on these YouTube tutorial videos. And she's asked me to spend a little bit more time on the factory floor. So let's see if I could use custom virtual backgrounds to make that happen. To access this, go to the bottom right-hand corner and click on more. Within more, there is the option for background and filters. Click on this. This now drops me into virtual backgrounds. And as you can see, I currently have no background set. So you just see the room that I'm currently sitting in. Over here, I can choose one of these pre-selected backgrounds, or if I click on this plus icon, I can even add my own. I'll click on that, and here I have a photo of a chocolate river from our factory here at the Kevin Cookie Company. I'll click on done, and look at that. My manager, Patty, now will think I'm hard at work whenever we chat on Zoom. Here, if I wanna remove some of these background images, I can click on edit right over here, and then I can click on any one of these X signs to remove that background. This background will hold moving forward, so for any other meetings that I join, the chocolate river will appear. But let's say maybe I'm trying to get a loan. I don't think the loan officer is going to appreciate this chocolate river behind me. So in settings, I can set it so it only applies to the next meeting. Let's check that out. To set it so the virtual background only applies to your current meeting, click into meetings and right near the top, there's the option to keep virtual background for, and by default, it's set to all meetings, but you can change that so it's the current meeting only. So this way you won't be caught off guard with a background you don't expect for your next meeting. And this brings us to tip number four, you can apply different filters. If you thought the custom virtual background was fun, wait until we go to this one. To access filters, go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on more. Within this menu, once again, let's click on background and filters. And here we're on the background tab, but let's click into filters. And over here, we can select from all of these different fun filters. Here, for example, I'm in a theater, or I could be on a TV set. And if I go down a little bit more here, I could even turn myself into a cat. But if I have a professional meeting coming up, I probably don't wanna leave this filter on. Down below, I have the option to apply to all meetings or not to apply to all meetings. So here, this would leave it on next time I have a meeting, but I don't wanna let that happen. So here, I'll toggle that off. 
Tip number five, you can share your phone screen on your PC. And this is a hybrid between phone and PC. This currently only works with an iPhone or an iPad. So in a sense, you can now use Zoom as a free way to cast your phone to your PC. Within a Zoom meeting, go down to the bottom and click on share screen. This opens up the share tray and on the basic tab over on the far right hand side, there is an option for iPhone and iPad. Click on that and then click on share. Next, you'll see a few instructions for setting this up. I'll jump on my phone and configure this. On my phone, I'll swipe down from the top right hand corner and right here I'll click on screen mirroring and then I'll select Zoom Dash Kevin. And here now I can see my phone screen on my PC and the latency is very low. As I move my phone, I see that the screen on my PC updates very fast. One of the really neat things is I can also use different annotation tools. Here when I go up to the meeting controls over on the right hand side, I can click on annotate and here I can draw on top of my mobile screen. So a really neat way to get your audience to follow along with what you're presenting. Tip number six, you can turn on safe driving mode. So let's say that I'm about to go off and deliver some chocolate to a customer. I don't need the full video. I don't need to be able to see what other people are sharing on the screen. Right here with my finger, I can swipe across the screen and this turns on safe driving mode. What this does, it turns off your microphone. It also stops incoming video. So I could just listen to the conversation. It makes it a little bit safer when I'm driving. And if I wanna speak while I'm driving, probably still not the best idea, but I could just tap here to speak and then I could start talking and then I could press again when I'm all done. So hopefully it makes it a little bit safer when you're driving a car or maybe even a truck or a bus or a chocolate delivery van. This brings us now to tip number seven. Zoom has invested very heavily in improving their security settings. So gone are the days of Zoom bombing, assuming you know how to use the settings. To access the different security settings down in the right hand corner, once again, let's click on more. And at the top of the menu, there's the option for security. When we click on this, we see some of the different options that we have. You can lock the meeting. So let's say everyone who you expect to be in the meeting has joined, well, you can then lock it. Down below, you can also turn on a waiting room. So this way when people join, you decide who can come in and who can't come in. You could also hide profile pictures. And then there are a whole bunch of settings that determine what participants are allowed to do. And this brings us to the very last tip of today. Number eight, you can auto copy an invite link when you're hosting a meeting. To turn this on, go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on settings and within settings, click on meetings. And then let's go all the way to the very bottom. There is the option to toggle on auto copy link invite. Let's turn that on and I'll go back to the main screen. Back on the main screen, I'll now kick off a new meeting by clicking on this. Here I'll click on start a meeting. On my phone now, let's say I'm composing an email or maybe I open up a text message. I could simply press and hold and here I could paste and that just automatically pastes in a link to this meeting. This makes it very easy to get other people into your meeting. All right, well, those are all the tips I had for you today. Let me know down below in the comments, which one did you like the most? Also, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.